Be smart out there. Rembaugh goes right at Nicaea Lally for the finish with the left hand. And the Blue Jays take a 10-8 lead. Why just away with a steal, but Rembaugh takes it right back. Goes for the right hand on the layup. It's up and good. She came out of nowhere to snatch it from Whitish, who just took it away herself. She really transfers in, actually, as a grad transfer. Nice slash to the bucket there by Veerbeek, but swatted away by Audrey Faber with the left hand. We'll have a jump ball to the top of the key and kick out to Rembaugh from distance and good. And there's the first main three-pointer of the afternoon for either squad. The Blue Jays cut the deficit back down to one. Yeah. Good. Switch it on the screen there, but Sarda able to get to the bucket and a bruise of her own. She's pumped up. Blue Jays back within three. We saw a similar play earlier in the second quarter, but she wasn't able to finish. This time switches back to the right hand to avoid the shot block attempt against a much taller defender. Drove and penetrated. Sarda again draws the contact and again finishes. Creighton ties things up and she can put the Blue Jays back in front with a free throw under a minute left here in the half. You know, it's so interesting, Thor, that we talk about how good of an outside team both these squads are, but the way... Good! And Creighton ties things back up. A good sign from distance for the Blue Jays and everyone involved here for this second half. For those players who can get hot in a hurry for Creighton. Faber, another one. Fade on the baseline is good. Knocks down the jumper over the taller defender, and Creighton's back in front here at home. Oh, that post move there, nice little spin back to the baseline. Doing a nice job filling in for some of those injured players. You see here Jalen Agnew on the right side. Turner now gets it back to Rembao in the corner for three. Gets the friendly roll. And Creighton with his largest lead of the contest, 40 to 30 midway through the third. Good ball movement from the Blue Jays, down low now to Saunders, trying to find space, but Alali coming off that shot block in the last possession. They get it over to Turner, who finishes, tipped out to Alger. She has Faber on the wing. Pulls up for three, no good off the long edge, but rebounded by Saunders. Back up and in, and Creighton takes a nine point lead. Under 40 to go. There's some order. Trying to get to the basket on the right hand, lays it up and in strong. Last chance. It's been really important for them. Rembaugh blows by Kate Kane. The motion offense going to work as the Blue Jays get an easy bucket from their guard. Down low to Rembaugh again on the back cut. The offense working to perfection for Creighton. And a timeout called by Amy Williams and Nebraska. Tatum Rambauer, 15 points, six assists, going to work as the Blue Jays take a 13-point lead. Again, if the shots aren't falling, but he hasn't done that this afternoon. Alger tries to get one to go and does. A fist pump from her as she pushes the lead back to 10 for the Blue Jays with under two minutes to go, and that may be the dagger. Do it here at DJ Sokol Arena. Whitish's desperation heave is no good. She walks off the floor. Creighton and Jim Flannery fired up. A win over their rivals down I-80. Creighton 74, Nebraska 65. The Blue Jays picking up.